Morning, how are you all doing? <laughs> I just thought I'd give you all a bit of my gorgeous face this time of morning. <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all really well. Um, this is another makeup chatty video. Yeah, it is, it is. I'd like to welcome you all on board to this journey that we're gonna go on together. You know, bit of a transformation, I hope. I've just took my hair down. This is the outcome. I'm not washing it today, I can't be asked. It's been raining all night, it's been raining this morning. Probably gonna get rained on again, I don't see the point really. Got these little grips in our from own bargains. Don't know if I've done it to be a bit snazzy to be honest. <laughs> There's what? <laughs> don't I look the twat? <laughs> Maybe I thought I was, you know, some sort of makeup artist that needed to like whip my hair out of my face while doing artwork on myself. And um, yeah, I just look like a prat. <laughs> Again, I put a little question box out on Instagram. Um, any questions or anything you want to speak about? I've had quite a few. So I'll just do like a few of those um, while sorting my face out. So um, yeah, if you think you'll like this kind of video, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe and keep on watching. I've had to take my cardigan off. I'm sweating my tits off. I've had the eating on all morning and it's just really hot. A few people actually asked where my cardigan was from. It's off ASOS, but I just got it off eBay because I get all my bits and bobs off there, really. I quite enjoy sitting down having a bidding war with someone. Do you know what I mean? Whatever floats your boat, people, you gotta do what makes you happy. <laughs> I'm thinking today I fancy a bit of a red lip, just a bit of a brown eye like I normally do, like a bit of a nudie eye. I'm gonna try and keep the brows as subtle as possible because in my last makeup video, I look like a right idiot. I looked at my brows and I thought, blimey, they're well blocker. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try and be a bit less heavy handed, try and do them a bit more subtle. So, um, so yeah, that's the kind of vibe I'm going for today. I do like doing a bit of makeup when I can be asked. You know, I did the school run this morning looking like I hadn't had a bath in a week, you know, and then today, <laughs> gonna pull up looking like a stripper again. <laughs> Happens every time. Right, okay, let's go. Oh no, pull that back. Oh, look at this. I saved this on my phone so uh, I can remember when I go. Um, Look at that. Giant pig in blanket, that is. It's like a big rolly one. A metre. A metre pig in a blanket. Get down Audi people. Start off with, where will your trips be once travel is allowed and safe again? Ooh. Oh. Do you know what? I'm, I just can't imagine it now. I can't picture it. Um, I, don't, I don't really know, to be honest. I've been so wrapped up in this year, I've not even thought about anywhere that I want to go. I have to say I really like Greece, you know. I've been to a few places in Greece and it was the boys' first holiday abroad and it was just, you know, I've got really fond memories of it. Um, just them looking really smart in their shirts and stuff, like, it was just really nice. And I went to Athens at the start of this year. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Look at that. Um, Poundland pencil, by the way. I've gone back to my Poundland one because it's a lot lighter, as you can see. But, um... Yeah, probably somewhere in Greece. I've always wanted to go like Santorini or Mykonos or one of the other islands, not for like partying or anything like that. They're beautiful little islands. So yeah, I've always wanted to go there. Oh, wow, I'm impressed with that one. That don't look too bad, does it? Oh, first attempt. Really like Portugal as well. I don't know, there's so many places, so many places that I'd love to visit. I'd love to get like some sort of like camper van motor home and go all over America as well, you know, to all like the big parks and, do you know like on them programs you see like what Gordon Ramsay does with like Gino and Fred and that, do you know where they like visit all over and stuff? Like places like that, that you wouldn't think to visit. Instead of like the typical places that everyone goes, I would love to visit some of like the more natural parts. Just like, I really love culture. That's the thing. Like I love to be immersed in culture. Like if I went on holiday, like all inclusive wouldn't be for me because I don't really like being, tied to a hotel for meals or whatever or don't like really staying on a resort. I like to get out there and like travel a bit and just you know get a train somewhere like I went to Portugal and I couldn't stay in the local area like we got trains like all over and stuff it was just like really special like I can't stay in one place so so I really like culture do you know what I mean so I don't know there's there's loads of places really that I want to go but all over America would be ace. Cannot wait to go back to Poland such a beautiful place like oh, I just I want to go to this place called Energy energy land and I don't know it's like a big theme park like I've said before I quite like theme parks and stuff but like the vibe when we went to Krakow I'm not sure if I'm saying that right Krakow 
I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it was a really beautiful place and the atmosphere was so nice and just everyone was so nice, do you know what I mean? So I've got really good memories of visiting there at the start of the year, so I cannot wait to go back. I really wanna to go to Sweden as well. There's just so many little places, Copenhagen. Something else I wanna do as well is go in, I don't know what they're called, I can't remember. Um, they're like giant outdoor pools in Europe. Um, like, so it'd be really cold outside, but it's just a real nice heated pool like in the cold weather. Um, and I also wanna visit Germany as well. So yeah, there's just so many places that I wanna visit. I mean, I don't know about now, like if things will shoot up in price, but when I've booked holidays and looked at trips before, you can get them so cheap, honestly. Like, people seem to think that going away is like mega expensive. And in my personal situation, it hasn't been. And when I've looked online as well, tickets have been cheap, like hotels have been cheap and I've managed to find really good deals. So yeah, it's just about looking around. Like I'll sit on Google for hours looking for the right deal. Do you know what I mean? So there are deals out there, but like I said, I don't know if it's changed now. Don't mind the lighting as well. It's like really bright outside. So it leaves a really horrible shadow inside. But if I film in the evening, then you can hardly see anything and it's like constantly focusing. Yeah, I don't mind that. Um, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on my lids. Bit of the P. Louise um, base. This is Rumor 02. I did place an order when they had the Black Friday sale on. I got an eyebrow kit and a um, like peachy colour that she uses on her cheeks. I thought it looked quite nice actually. So I thought, oh, I'll order that. It's one of the bases that she uses. Um, so I thought I'll give that a go. I can't wait to get that to be honest because you know every so often you have to treat yourself don't you? Like I say in almost every video the items I got come to 14 quid you know what I mean like it doesn't matter how big or small like treat yourself people just it's so important like what's what's the point? What's the point? Why do you have to miss out? Do you know what I mean? What's the point? Like why? Why should you have to miss out? I know people have got families to feed. I know people have got bills to pay. And I get that, you know, we're all there. Like I'm in that situation as well, but you have to treat yourself. If you don't, like, like you're a person too, do you know what I mean? You've got feelings and needs too. So if you see something you want, no matter how big or small and in your capabilities, then definitely treat yourself. Not selfish and you deserve it. That's time, yeah, Rupert's doing me head in, but you know, I'd like to introduce you to Scary Mara. <laughs> you know what some of these aren't questions and they're just really nice messages honestly love your videos you're always so upbeat and such a positive person keep being you like thank you like honestly like it's so weird for people to say that to me do you know what i mean like not weird like thank you i'm not saying you're weird i don't mean like that i mean like i just sit here in my bedroom in my council house you know i've got the school run soon you could see what i'm wearing down bottom do you know i've got a pile of washing the size of mount everest and the electric's about to run out i've got to go and put some on you know what i mean i'm just i'm just so like do you know what i mean it's so hard to explain but i'm thank you like if i can keep being positive and helping others and stuff like honestly the amount of messages i get are just so nice do you know what i mean and like if you ever feel lonely like message me like i'm here to reply i might not straight away sometimes i don't see half of them but, but if i can keep like pushing positivity and just keeping it real for you letting you know that this this world we see online isn't like always real do you know what i mean and don't feel inadequate because what you're doing is great what you're doing is amazing even when you feel like you're not doing enough you are enough you're doing enough everything you're doing is enough cellulite's real spots are real flappy fannies are real do you know what i mean like just everything <laughs> flappy fannies <laughs> they are real i just you know shock myself sometimes there's nothing up with a flappy fanny don't think there is just want to say that you're bloody wonderful and so are you honestly so are you thank you so much like Thank you. Favourite budget and expensive makeup brands. I am, um, I'm just using a bit of brown. This is from Primark. Primark, Primark's one of them. It's not even a makeup brand, but Primark's makeup is like amazing. Honestly, like I cannot wait to get back to Primark and do a bit of shopping on their makeup range. Some stuff is crap. Like I'm not gonna sit here and hype every single item I make up, but um, like, a majority of their stuff that I find is pretty good. Yeah, the PS um, makeup range at Primark is probably up there. I really like Essence at Wilco. So affordable. Honestly, I was in Wilco the other day and I just, I couldn't believe it. Like, it's so cheap. Do you know what I mean? Everything was so cheap. Like, lip glosses, mascaras, like, powders, everything is all under a fiver. Like, a lot of it was under three quid, to be honest. You know, like, it's really good stuff. A lot of people will dismiss, like, brands like that because, you know, they think they're just going to be shit. There is good and bad with all makeup. You know, there's some high-end brands that I think are really... Like, personally, I don't like the Double Wear Foundation from Estee Lauder. Like, I'm not a fan. I've got a bottle of it, and I just... 
I don't like it. Personal preference, I don't like it. But per cosmetics, um, I think it was the two-in-one Love Yourself. It is like 30 quid online, but probably one of the best foundations that I've used, honestly. The coverage, the coverage was amazing. Another budget one is Collection. Really like Collection. You can get that in like Super Drug and Boots and stuff. MUA Makeup Academy as well. They've got some good bits. Um, I've currently got a setting powder from there, which was in Poundland, in Poundland. And it's one of my favourite ones I've ever used. Do you know what I mean? Like, quid. I really liked Old Beauty as well. Um, I like their lashes. I've got a bronzer as well, which is really nice. Like, I do really like it. But it's a bit light for me, so I don't really use it that often. Another low-end one. I love Maybelline Fit Me as well. The Fit Me range is... I feel like I do these eyes in every video. <laughs> This is like my favourite type of eyeshadow though. I don't really do much vibrant stuff. I just, I don't know, if I was on holiday and stuff I would. Um, or like, you know, if there was something going on or I was going out for a meal or whatever. I've had a real shit year, nobody's done anything, you know, and I love nudie shades and browns and smoky eyes and stuff. So I just always stick to that, to be honest. But with makeup, to be honest, I use all different brands. Like, I'm not one of these that goes, oh, I'm not using that. You know, that was only a quid. Oh, I ain't using that. That's going to be shit. I'm not like that. I look for the ones that are shit gems. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to find a bargain. Equally, though, if I found something that was quite pricey, that I'd think, oh, you know, it's a bit out of my range, but I really liked it, then I'd buy it. Sometimes, as well, I go down here a little bit, but I've not put my foundation on yet, so I don't know why I'm doing it now, really. Um, but it just kind of, you know, you know, if we're going for a bit of the old nose contour. Not that I do that. Reason being is I've done it before and I thought, oh, you know, it looks snatched. I've gone outside and when a certain light hits it, I just look like I've got big chunks of powder down the side of my nose. And I'm desperately trying to rub it off before I get to the school gates. Do you know what I mean? So I just, I keep it minimal. A bit of a vampy lip or a red lip, releasing the inner stripper that I am. But... That's about as good as it gets. <laughs> I'm gonna do something a bit different today. I haven't done this before. I don't know how it's gonna hold up, but I've got a matte lipstick by Hot Ombre Cosmetics. Had these last year. They're like double-ended um, like ombre kits. So, you know, you do the darker one on the outer and the lighter one on the inner part of your lips. But I feel like putting it on my eyelids. Am I making a mistake? Got a bit of this uh, shade here. I feel like, no, no, I can't do that. Why would I do that? No. No, I can't. I'll probably shag it, won't I? No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I don't know what came over me. Scrap that. Add a bit of concealer instead, you know, because I'm going to pop a bit of like a lighter colour on these bits. Just like a lighter powder, nothing special. No jazziness really on the lids because I'm going for a red lip. For me personally, I think it's like one or the other. I mean, everyone's different, you know, and that's great, but... <sighs> even done out this just looks the same that's what i'm after like that one get that brown back in might make it look i've got a bit of a frog in my throat today as well so don't mind that if i do sound like i've smoked 40 this morning i'm just gonna go into this um nudder i was gonna say nudder hood <laughs> Did you ever do that? I quite often get my words muddled up but you know in like serious situations you're like in handover at work or something I think you go a bit red, don't you? And you're like, oh, don't mind me and my fucking stupid mouth. Yeah, that eye's better. That eye's better, I have to say. I'd love a professional makeup artist to do my makeup, you know. But like, oh, look at me. Like, I think I do all right when I do my makeup, but just to have somebody know exactly what they're doing and, like, what would suit your face. And, you know, when you see celebrities and they've had a photo shoot and you think, if only they could get their hands on me, you know, how fit I would look. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Lashes of choice today are these Doll Beauty ones. These are the Alice ones. My camera is taking a while to focus. Yeah, they're just quite subtle, these. Probably why I've not used them. Like, I don't like a harsh lash, but these are very... They're very gentle, you know? They're a bit They're a bit too soft. Um, so... But I am going to use them today because I ain't got any lashes, to be honest. So I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry and I'm just popping a little bit of highlighter on. I always press it after. Like, this is from Poundland, by the way. Like I've shown you before, it's the Eyelore, um Focus. Focus, it's a double-ended one. Um, yeah. How do you stay so positive with everything that's going on? At the moment, I'm struggling. Love to you. I say lots of love right back at you, honestly. Like, 
I know it is hard at the minute, it's so hard. Obviously, like I said, like I push and promote positivity where I can, that's what I wanna do. Like I'm positive like most of the time I would say, but I still have moments where I still get scared about what's going on and I'm still worried. I remember when everything first happened and somebody didn't social distance in Lidl and I freaked out. Like I absolutely freaked out. All my life dramas up and down Lidl. Equally, I was watching the news all the time and that ain't good for your switch the news off, honestly. I can't be asked for listening to it. Everyone in life has their own struggles and problems. Do you know what I mean? After a really stressful day or whatever, I cannot be asked for listening to how shit the world is at the minute. Do you know what I mean? And all the sad news, like I'm quite an emotional person. I don't need it. I switch all of that off off like i can't be arsed with it find things to focus on so i'm not stressing out about anything do you know what i mean so like my youtube channel is major for me like i enjoy my youtube channel i love speaking with you like it's a proper community i feel like i've got friends hi hi friends that keeps me really distracted even if i'm having a stressful time at work i think right i'm gonna film this tomorrow you know i'm thinking about like what i'm gonna be doing so i find that really helpful do you know what i mean so find something that will keep you distracted and keep you busy, you know, then you're not thinking about all the crap, are you? And just in general, you know, I've learned to let go of things that I'm not in control of. You know, why stress about something I'm not in control of? Like, I'm not in control of it. I can't decide what happens with it. So why stress about it? Why let it be on my mind and cause me so much stress and anxiety? Like, why? Why let that happen? So I've learned to let go and just what will be will be in that sense. Like, I'm in control of my life. So I control my decision making in, you know, my life. But anything that I'm not in control of, I'm just like, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Whatever. Everything always works out, you know, and you might not be able to see it now, but everything's going to be okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, even if you can't see it, that's the hardest part. Like, people can't see that everything's going to be okay or everything's going to fall into place and work out, but it is. In life, I've learned to let go of a lot and just be my authentic self do you know what I mean and I find a lot of my positivity comes from that like I'm not a people pleaser like I won't say yes if I don't think it's right you know I'll share my opinion on something and um I'm just I do things that I want to do do you know what I mean because I'm in control why why should why would I not be why would I not be like a fully grown adult why would I not be in control of my life by doing that it's helped me be who I actually am and I'm more positive and more confident as a person because I'm not giving a shit about what anyone else thinks. Like, that's their business. Don't come to me with your shitty opinion. Do you know what I mean? I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Like, I'm doing me. I'm happy. You do you. Waffling on so much, this has dried down really bad. <laughs> There's better days ahead. You know, we all have down days, down moments, dark moments, and it's normal. It's okay. Do you know what I mean? It's so normal. So don't don't think that you're weird or anything because you're not. You're really not. Like, it's so normal. People that tell you to, like, man up or get a grip or whatever, <sighs> piss right off. Always speak out as well. Like, don't let anything become too overwhelming. Do you know what I mean? It's important to speak out. Even, like, if it's a stranger, like, it's important. And there's loads of, like, helplines people can ring as well um, just to have a chat and stuff. Primark Foundation, by the way. It is quite thick but I like it. I've got a massive spot on my neck as well, which driving me mad. It's one that I can't get to. Um, and it's driving me mad. I really like popping spots, you know, I get a right thrill out of it. Call me weird. Call me weird, I know, but I I really enjoy popping spots. You know, if Big Steve has a spot, I'm like, get here, you. There's this game as well that you can get. It was in Entertainer last year. I don't know if it still is this year, but you can still get them. Um, it's a spot popping game. Squeeze like this. Like it's a real soft, like soft plasticky material and like all pus comes out. For all you spot popping lovers out there, it's only six quid the last time I looked. <laughs> I always go over it as well with my sponge just because um, it's probably really patchy in some areas. I've missed the load there, like you can see all my spots and stuff. But you know, everyone will be so dazzled by my red lip, they won't notice that. <laughs> my lashes have probably dried a bit now, so I'll just stick this on because I do leave my concealer on just for a sec. Actually, no, last time I did that, it went really dry. Right, hang on, let me buff this out and then I'll uh, pop my lashes on. Like I say, I always cake this on just for that little bit of extra coverage. You know, I'll stick a little bit there on my spots. <laughs> Not shaved my tash in a while, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not all hair, to be fair. You know, foundation on. You know, it gives you that moustachey look, don't it? <laughs> it does look a bit of a mess at the minute. Don't mind that, you know, trust the process. Come on, stick down. Definitely very subtle. I 
bear with me. Attempt number two, I've re-glued the lashes, so I'll let them dry down a little bit, and then we'll start again. But I'm gonna use my MUA powder, I really like this stuff. Managing school runs, working shifts, and running a home, how do you cope? You know what, it ain't always perfect, you know? It helps that I've got a really good supportive partner, do you know what I mean? Um, Big Steve is very, very supportive. He does a lot around the house and stuff, um, and is very supportive with the boys. But you know, my wash pile is overflowing so bad. Honestly, like when I say it's up here, literally it is probably even bigger than that, honestly. And if I'm struggling, I'll quickly do a load of like socks and pants and stuff, you know, so we've got stuff for the next day. And then I'll do like a massive hit of washing like one day a week, but because I ain't got a dryer at the minute. So, you know, I'll take it all laundry and stuff throughout the day. Usually if I'm being quite good, like I'll do one load a day. So it doesn't have to get that big, but occasionally it does get really big like it has now. So, so there are things that don't go as smooth as maybe I would like. With night shifts, like I'm quite a night owl anyway. They work perfect for me. And in the morning, I am a bit of a zombie on school run. Just get on with it, to be honest. I, I don't know, it just happens, don't it? You just, this is what I mean by like people are strong. They just keep going, keep moving. <laughs> um, Lots of coffee, lots and lots of coffee. You know, I, I don't get much sleep when I've done night shifts because like I'll get home from work. So I finish at half seven in the morning. I'll come home, get the kids ready. Then I leave out for school. By the time I've got back and like I've unwound and I've done what I've got to do and stuff, it's like 10 o'clock, so I'll go to bed. And then I have to wake up at at least two to be like alert for the school run for like three o'clock, like setting out then. So half the time it is on hardly any sleep, do you know what I mean? But I don't know, it just, it just happens, don't it? And I get quite annoyed if the house is like really messy. Like, like washing, you can hide away, but do you know if like the living rooms are messy and stuff, I'll just get on with it. Just dust that off a bit, because I realised as I was talking to you, I was like putting more and more and more on. <laughs> the lashes should be all right now. Let's try. Yeah, they're quite tacky, let's have a look. I've chopped one a lot smaller than the other, so yeah, they're two different lengths. That's what I wanted to say. If there's anybody, um, on here that you know he's like a specialist in like hair extensions or anything like that i bought some recently off ebay i did put it on my stories that i was buying on but big steve said that i'd look like a yorkshire terrier because they're like ombre and he was like i don't like them but you know you do you don't you so i got them i need somebody to fit them but um somebody got back to me and said that's not enough hair for a full head and now I'm a bit worried, like, because it's such, like, a unique colour of hair, like, the ombre style, um, I'm not sure if I've, like, totally messed up and I'm not going to be able to use them, like, I don't want it to be too thin and my hair look really silly, so if there's anybody on here, I'll show you in a sec, I'll just pop these lashes on, um, so if there's anybody on here that'll be able to maybe guide me on whether, like, it isn't enough... I know it's like easier said than done without actually seeing someone's hair and how fine it is and you know whether it's thick enough or whatever. Covered in glue but it dries clear so I'll just let them stick down a little bit. 125 strands. Being honest I wish it was that colour because I love that colour um, but my hair's just so messed at the minute so I can't. But there's three packets here, 125 125 strands. Do you think that's enough all over? Hair extensions before and the ponytail lamp been much bigger than this. Like when it's all together. But someone that can fit hair got back to me and said, I'd only really use that on fine hair, so I don't know. And then somebody said, yeah, I can fit it ASAP. So, you know, but I love it. Absolutely love it. 24 inches, never been used. Um, brand new. Just fancy it, so why not, eh? But um, if anyone can get back to me with any like advice on that, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> fancy something a bit different do you ever get like that where you really fancy a change use a bit of bronzer from primark um this was only two quid you know i've had this a while don't forget your neck people always forget and i've got this big orange head and uh pasty neck hope anyone struggling right now you know knows that it's going to get better especially with christmas don't stress out about christmas i cannot stress this enough i put it on my stories i've mentioned it in videos you know do not stress over christmas it ain't worth it honestly if you're stressing about presents and the cost of christmas you can get so many good presents second hand pound shop is amazing home bargains is amazing b m you know places like that like don't stress out honestly like i said in a recent video i've just bought an xbox one for my youngest lad off facebook 60 quid got a box for it and all it looks immaculate you know, he's going to be over the moon. He's eight years old. He ain't got to break the bank. Do you know what I mean? So don't stress about it. Like that, honestly. And you can get Christmas dinner really cheap as well. I'm going to do a video on doing Christmas dinner really cheap. So honestly, don't stress about it. There's so many places like you can get stuff and, you know, like, oh, 
talking and talking and waffling on and just adding more powder and talking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I am gonna add a bit of blush though, because I do like blush. But I like the corally looking one. I do like a bit of an orangey blush, you know. Oh, that'll do, that'll do. Do you know what? That'll do. I'm trying to blend these right in at the root. Just popping a bit of brown here at the bottom, just to like give more of a oomph, do you know what I mean? A bit more of a smokier look. And I said earlier as well about like bringing it down like that, just a little bit. I see quite a lot of people doing this. You know, look at that. I've started now, so I better carry on. I can feel my bingo wings going when I'm like <laughs> up and down. Big moment, we're going for a red lip. Got another double-ended one here. So this is an ombre kit, but I'm just gonna use this side. It's from Hot Ombre Cosmetics. But look how vibrant that is. Like, I love that. I'll just come a bit closer so I can see. I hope you're not looking at my moustache on that big teller. <laughs> Can't talk while I'm doing this. Oh no! It's a little bit vibrant. I feel like this is like my holiday makeup. Like what I would do on holiday. Their style of choice today is with my Mark Hill waver. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, wave it. <laughs> I love this waver, you know. Do you know if you're having a real shit air day, get a waver. They're about 16 quid online, I think. When I looked it was about 16 quid. But I've got like the, the crimpy one like this. When I'm having a real bad air day, I just use this, you know, game changer, people. That's the finished look. I hope you like it. I feel like the lighting's really changed. Like it's gone really dark out from being really bright. Like I kind of wish it was like this the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say before I go, thank you so much for nearly 10,000 subscribers. Like honestly, thank you so much. Like it means the world honestly like it absolutely means the world and i want to keep letting you know like i said earlier that each and every single person that is watching this video right now apart from the knobheads i mean even knobheads have good days but you know i ain't got time for you today <laughs> but you know anybody that is watching this that is feeling inadequate feeling like they're not worthy or anything just know you are amazing exactly how you are and don't be afraid to be who you are like express yourself be your true authentic self Tell people, mind your business. Do things that you want to do. Do things that make you happy, you as a person. You still have needs, like the person watching this. Despite whether you're 15, 50 or 85, do you know what I mean? Whether you're a parent, you don't have kids or you know, you're in full-time work or full-time education, like you as a person are so important like so important and I cannot express that enough like fulfill your dreams and goals at any age do what you want at any age do what makes you laugh tell people to piss off tell people it's none of their business if they're getting their head in you know be who you want to be like be that person like you're amazing do you know what I mean like keep shining honestly because you're amazing exactly how you are trust me if I could meet each and every one of you I know we'd be like great friends honestly like great friends because you're all amazing so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you do want to follow me on Instagram it's fajj202 I'll link it all below well I'll write it you know you know how it is I hope whatever you're doing wherever you are in the world right now you're having a great day or evening and I'll see you in my next video